Y'all, I'm gonna need a pin intervention or something here. This is getting crazy. Hey Disney fans, welcome back to my channel. So as you saw, yeah, totally need a pin intervention. Uh, I went whole hog these past two months and bought lots of really cool pins, like really cool pins. Um, I discovered live sales on Instagram, so that wasn't good. And Box Lunch had a few really, really good sales, so I definitely picked some pins up there. Shop Disney's had some fun releases, so I bought some from them. A few friends on Instagram offered to do some park pickups for me. Uh, yeah, so it just kind of happens. Um, <laughs> those of you who collect pins, you understand. My problem is, is not only do I collect pins, I collect Disney stuff. So I, I yeah, I need like three more jobs um, just to fund Disney <laughs> in order to even make that happen. But it's all good, it's fun. So anyhow, yeah, so I thought what I'd do is go ahead and start with some of the Shop Disney stuff, because I'm sure a lot of you have seen that. And then we'll get into some of my park pickups, box lunch, and then I'll do some of the stuff I bought on the live sales on Instagram, because some of that is different, older, you might not have seen it, or you have, and maybe you're thinking about getting it, and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, I'll go ahead and do the Shop Disney stuff first, and then we'll go on from there. All right, so back in January, uh, Shop Disney released a bunch of new park pins, um, open edition rack pins, as I, whatever you want to call them. And they're all dated, but I thought they were kind of cool. Um, I don't usually like to get pins that have dates on them just because it's like, oh, okay, yeah, you really want to like that year in order to have that pin. But these ones were kind of fun, and they were decent price. So I went ahead and got them. The first one I'm going to show you is the Disneyland 2019 Mickey Mouse pin. And you can see there, it kind of shows Disneyland in the background, the year 2019, it was established in 1955. And it is a pin on pin design. You can see Mickey does kind of stick out there a little bit. But these are really detailed pins. I love these ones, like there's a little train right there. Um, just really well made. Uh, unfortunately, I don't remember how much these were, it just says silver. So those of you who go to the park, you'll probably remember what silver means. I live 24 hours, <laughs> if not more, away from one park and a good eight days away from the other park. So I don't go there enough to remember what those color codes are. Uh, the second one I had to have, because why not, uh, is Stitch 2019, and he is the Walt Disney World Parks pin. Um, he does have Cinderella's Castle there. And again, these are all pin on pin, if not the year part of the actual character itself does stick out but this is the Stitch 2019 Walt Disney World Park pin. Thought he was awesome. The next one is another Walt Disney World, and this one, even though I don't really care for the character a whole lot, not my favorite one, not that I don't like it, but not my favorite one. I love the background of this one, because um, guilty pleasure, it is my favorite ride at Disney World. Uh, this is the Minnie Mouse Disney World 2019 Park pin, and the reason I love it is because, as you can see, it's a Small World ride is featured in the background. And I know everyone's like, that song is so annoying. Get over it, I love it. So, <laughs> the next one is another Walt Disney World one. And this one is also uh, 2019, but it is for Epcot. And it's got Chip and Dale on there and they are eating popcorn, it looks like. But I just thought that was a really fun one too. And the um, Spaceship Earth kind of has like a, it's not glitter, but the way that it's cut kind of makes it uh, sparkle just a little bit. So that was a fun one. And then the last one I got out of that whole series is um, just kind of a general park pin. It just says 2019. Um, it's a spinner. And I'm actually gonna take this one off the backer card because they put um, a caution sticker on the front of it. But it is the 2019 parks pin and it's a spinner. So you can see there the characters move. And in the background, there's uh, like the Mickey ice cream treats. Um, let's see, Space Mountain. The Walt Disney and Mickey statue, Mad Hatter and Teacups, The Castle, Fantasmic, Tower of Terror, uh, It's a Small World ride, Splash Mountain again, yeah, Dumbo ride. So there's all kinds of really neat features on this pin. Um, you can kind of see there the background of it. There's all kinds of really neat little uh, ride features on there. But yeah, you can see they put this little caution thing on it. I think it's because it has, says it says contains functional sharp parts. Okay. Um, <laughs> whatever. I'll go ahead and put the background on that one. Those were all from Shop Disney. The next one I got from Shop Disney was on sale. Uh, it was normally $12.95, I believe. And then they were having it on sale for $9.99. And then they had a real deal where you got like more off. <coughs> yeah. 
And that one is The Little Mermaid. This pen actually glows in the dark. Um, and it says part-time mermaid. It's really small. Like I was shocked at how expensive it was for how small it is. Um, I did not see these in stores. Again, I bought this online. So I was like, oh, okay. And, I mean, it's a cute idea with a little cork in the bottle and all that kind of stuff. But that might find its, even though it's Ariel and I love Ariel, that might find its way on its way out. Uh, the next pin I got, or pin set, I guess you should say, is also from Shop Disney. It's the new live action Dumbo pin set. This is limited release. They were $16.95. I believe these are still available on the app right at the moment. They are probably still in stores too. But you can see that there's Dumbo with his little feather. Then there's the, like the um, poster. And then whatever that is. I really don't know what that is. I've not seen the movie obviously because it's not out yet. Um, but I just thought that was a really cool set. It was only 16 bucks, so I thought, sure, why not? The next pin I then picked up from Shop Disney was the Valentine's Day Limited Edition. Uh, this was also available in the parks too. It says, you mermaid for me, Valentine 2019. And again, I normally don't do year pins, but it's Ariel, so I had to. Uh, so it's got Ariel and Eric in like a little envelope on the background, on, on the back card, and then they're like sitting I think at the dinner table at the castle, Eric's castle. So that was a really cool one. It was limited edition. I believe it's limited edition of 5,000. Um, it should say on the back. So let me pull it off here real quick. Yes, limited edition of 5,000. So you can see that there on the back of the card. And there's a little bit of a stained glass element to this one that I just realized. Um, these yellow parts, you can see they do go through there. So that's kind of cool. Didn't really notice that before. I'm a terrible pin collector apparently. Let me get this one back on the card. The next pin I'll show you guys is actually a limited release as well. Kind of like the um, Dumbo pin set. This just came out, I believe last week and it is the new Captain Marvel pin. Um, and you can see there there's Captain Marvel in all her glory. Limited release, not limited edition. Uh, this one was $12.95. Uh, so I went ahead and picked that up. That one too is still available. And then the last two pin sets that I got from Shop Disney, um, they're not limited edition by any means, they're just fun. Um, they were released this past week too um, in, on Shop Disney. I think they've been in stores for a little bit now, but again, I don't, the closest store is even two and a half hours away. So the first one is the Monster Zinc Sushi pin set, along with the Monster Zinc logo pin there. But that was just too fun and I had to have it. So I thought that was pretty cool. What weirds me out just a fuzz is, Okay, if they're monsters, and you don't really see any animals in the world of Monsters, Inc., whose eyeballs are they eating? Because <laughs> that's weird. But anyhow, we won't talk about that anymore. And the next pin I got is a mini jumbo. Um, this is also still available on Shop Disney. It's also available in Disney stores. But it's one of those ones where it's like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. Um, it's $14.95, and it's Al's Toy Barn <laughs> from Toy Story. And this pin is just so huge. I mean, it's huge. The pin itself is this part right here. Uh, I had to get it. And then of course it's got like Al and his, whatever his last name is, McWiggin, <laughs> and his little photo ID there. But that pin was so fun. I had to grab it, so I did. So those were my shop Disney pins. Um, I got quite a few. Yes, I know that uh, things like Mushu and stuff that he just released last night. I did not buy the plush, I did grab the pins. Um, so when those come, I'll show them to you. But that was what I've gotten recently from Shop Disney. Everything else going forward is either from the park recently, or it was a recent release, or is from Box Lunch or uh, Instagram. So we'll get into those right now. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys probably collect fantasy pins. I'm not a big fantasy pin collector, only because the whole copyright infringement thing kind of weirds me out. Um, so I, there are a lot that I like, but I won't buy just because of that. But this one... The price was too good. It's my favorite character aside from one. And uh, it was considered, what the, the seller considered a flawed pin. So I think I got this for like $35 instead of whatever it was previously. But um, this one is from Pretty Geeky Pins and this thing is freaking sweet. It just really is. It's a limited edition of 80 and it's massive. So you can see there now why I did buy it. It is Ariel and she is gorgeous. The detail on this pin is amazing. And this will be the only fantasy pin I buy. Um, 
it's not that the seller is a bad seller or that it just it's nothing to do with any of that i just the whole copyright thing again it kind of gets me but this pin was gorgeous i broke my rule once i won't break it again <laughs> but this one I had to get. So that is the one and only fantasy pin in my collection at this time that I'm aware of. The other sellers that I purchased from have said and sworn up and down that they are not, the other pins I have are not fantasy pins. They are legit Disney pins. So you guys can let me know if that's the true or not. But yeah, so that is the one fantasy pin I did buy. Very well made. You can see there on the back, LE80. Um, a phenomenal piece, a great artist. And I love this one. All right, so these next pins, uh, my friend out in California, Jay, she has a friend who goes to the parks regularly, more than she does, and uh, she knows I like pins, and saw these at one of the pin centers and said, hey, I think Ian might like these. And sure enough, she sent me a photo and I said, yes, I do. <laughs> um, so they went ahead and picked these up. These are actually, they're still available in the park. They are from 2016. So I'm doubting they are limited edition or limited release, but they are for annual pass holders only of Disneyland. Um, so they were a little bit pricier. It's a six pin set. They were $49.99. So I had to pay that plus tax plus shipping to me, but I just really liked them. I thought they were very highly detailed, very good quality pins and really excited about these. So this is the cameo pin set from Walt Disneyland Resort. And you can see there, there's Maleficent and Aurora, the Mad Hatter and Alice, Hook and Peter Pan. And the detail on these pins is just absolutely amazing. Uh, that is why I went ahead and said, sure. Um, yes, it is a little bit of money for six pins. Um, but I just, I love these guys. I love Alice and I love Aurora and Maleficent. The Mad Hatter, yeah, you know. But the pin itself, these pins are really, really awesome. So I went ahead and said, sure. And graciously, she picked them up for me. And then uh, they came, they made their way to me. So really, really neat, high detail, very nice quality pins there. All right, so these next pins are ones that a friend of mine on Instagram, the handle for that person is Stitched Disney Pins, uh, did as a pickup uh, in the parks. And these are current pins. You can go and get these at the park right now. Um, they are on the new backer card, which I think is kind of cool. And you'll see why I went ahead and bought these ones uh, when I showed them to you, because like I said, they are the three main pins that I collect. So these are the new open edition rack pins of the princesses with their castles. So on top there is Cinderella and then Snow White and Ariel. And the castles have like a glitter embellishment to them. So they are really, really, really nice pins. I really like these. Um, I, I just was like, yep, okay. And of course, graciously, she sold them to me at cost plus shipping. Um, so that was really nice of her and I do appreciate that. All right, so this next pin is really awesome. It was released on January 10th in the parks and that is my birthday. So I was like, oh my gosh, it released a pin on my birthday. I have to have it, I don't care what it is. <laughs> it just so happened to be a limited edition pin. It's the beginning of this year's new monthly pin release. It is for the Kingdom consoles and it is the Little Mermaid. So of course I had to have this pin. Um, a friend, well, I guess not a friend, I don't know her at all, but a very nice, gracious lady on the Disney Kitty um, pin trading and chatting Facebook page said that she would graciously do a pickup for me. So this year's uh, new monthly release is the Kingdom Consoles. They are limited edition of 4,000. And as you can see here, this one is Ariel. There's a lot of moving parts to these. The um, I can't really show you because my finger will get in the way, but the actual game console there moves up and down. You can kind of see it moving side to side. It moves up and down. And then the game controller actually comes off. So you can pretend like you're playing the game and then it's magnetic and sticks to the pin itself. So here you can see Ariel in her pixelated form. And then uh, 89 up in this corner is how many lives she has left. It's like, oh no, how did you die 11 times? But actually 89 is the year that uh, The Little Mermaid was released. So really cool retro pin there. Um, and uh, yeah, it was $16.99. So I paid that plus a little extra plus shipping. So I think in the end it was 25 bucks or something like that that I paid. But when you can't make it to the parks, 25 bucks is nothing. <laughs> I mean, especially if you want it. So that is the new Kingdom Consoles Aerial Pin. All right, so these next pins that I got, I'm gonna go through pretty quick. They're all from Box Lunch. Um, Box Lunch had a pretty good sale uh, in January uh, a couple of times. And then I had a birthday coupon and then they had some other little like 
um, box lunch cash things that I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna use all this up. So um, I bought a lot of pins. So the first one I'll show you is um, Hercules Pegasus as a little baby. And I thought that was a really cute pin set. So I went ahead and grabbed those, whoops. These are from um, Loungefly. So there you can see, uh, there's baby Hercules. The next set is um, falling all over the place. So we'll show them to you this way. It is the Pegasus Babies from Fantasia. And they don't want to sit right on <laughs> in, the in the back card. But um, these were just really cute. Uh, they were normally, I believe, $19.90, but I got 30% off of that and free shipping. So can't beat that. The next set uh, was another one of my favorites. So it is Phantasmic Mickey or Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey. And then one of the Enchanted Brooms with the buckets after he makes his little ordeal not work there. Let's see here. That one is not from Box Lunch. These uh, I got because my son loves this movie a ton. Both of my sons do actually. It is the Coco. It's Pepita and Dante as the El Rige, which I thought was really cool pins and just really very nicely detailed. So grab those. The next one is really cute. It's Wally and Eve. So naturally had to grab that because Wally is one of my favorite movies. And next, next pin, well, I mean, come on guys, you know the icon on my channel, is a surfing stitch. And that was just a really, really cool pin. And these, I mean, the only reason I got these is again, they were cheap, like nine or seven or eight bucks and then 30% off of that. So you really can't beat that. The next one I got was Aladdin and Jasmine on the flying carpet. This pin, I wasn't, I, I, I saw it in person at Box Lunch. There's a Box Lunch about an hour away from me. And I didn't look at it real quick, but I looked at it brief enough to say, oh, that's a cool pin. Well, now that I have it, they do their pins very weird. Um, there's like a clear coat that goes over the top of the pin, which is great because it seals everything in. But that's where they paint on or, or inlay the eyes, the mouth, and the eyebrows. So it actually kind of casts a shadow, if you look at it really good, onto the part of the pin that's underneath it. Very weird. <laughs> but I still like the pin. And it's a good size pin, too. The next pin I got was the little unicorn from Fantasia. I love that movie. And it might look weird like that. So let me bend that backwards. Um... I love Fantasia. I love this scene in Fantasia, so that pin was a must. The next one that I picked up um, is the Peter Pan, Wendy, Tinkerbell, and Michael pin set. Again, this was normally, I think, $22.90, but it was 30% off, so can't beat that. Love that set. And the next one is really fun. This was released. It's a limited release, grand opening of 2018, still available on box launch, at least it was when I bought it. Toy Story Land Slinky Dog pin. And this one actually has, because they collaborated with Disney, the Mickey head back, uh, on, back backers on there. Um, but yeah, I love, 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 love this little pin. He's so cute. You can see there it says commemorative um, pin, the Hollywood Studios, and then limited release, and uh, grand opening 2018. Great, great pin. And then the last pins I got from Box Lunch, these just released again last month, it's the new pop Beauty and the Beast um, set. So it's Belle in her blue dress and Beast as obviously a beast. So those are really cute. And then this other pin I'm gonna show you is not um, Box Lunch, but it is Hot Topic. And those two technically are one of the same because if you buy things online, you'll see it says doing business as Box Lunch Hot Topic. So um, this one, again, is one of those ones where it's like, oh my gosh, I have to have this is the new Ariel pin available at Hot Topic. So this pin was beautiful. The detail on it is really, really nice. Um, I just, I was like, okay, yeah. And it was only $7.90. So I went ahead and bought it. <laughs> so those were the ones that I got from Box Lunch slash Hot Topic. Uh, that was a lot of pins really, really quickly. But like I said, I know a lot of you guys, you may collect them, but they're not a big part of your collection. The only reason, again, I grabbed them was because A, I like them, and B, they were cheap. <laughs> so now we're going to move into the pins that I bought off of Instagram. Okay, so the first seller is um, um, that I bought from on Instagram. Her name is Addicted to Disney Pins, I believe. Yeah, Addicted to Disney Pins. Um, she is out of Nevada, um, and she does live sales periodically throughout the week. Uh, I caught them randomly. There was one last night, um, and then there was a couple throughout the week, too. And I just kind of watched her here and there, and then finally took the plunge and... and 
bought some from her um, on one of her live sales. I was lucky enough to win one of the games. So I got a free pin plus some little fun um, Disney World Japan, Disneyland Tokyo uh, items, which is kind of cool. Uh, but uh, I just kind of bought a little sprinkling all over from all of her price points. The really nice thing is, is the way that they do them, they'll do like this batch is high end or grail pins. And then here's like $40 pins, $30 pins, $20 pins, $10 pins, and $5 pins. Um, so I kind of bought all over. So we'll start with the most expensive pin I bought from her. Um, this pin is stunning. Uh, it might actually be my absolute favorite pin that I own right at the moment. Um, it is LE 150. A limited edition 150 it's from a box set uh i believe they said from either disneyland paris or from disney but a long time ago so it's an old pin um i cannot get over this pin it is stunning 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 uh, you'll see what i paid for it and i don't care this is a limited edition cinderella pin it was in a box set of i believe four pins the set itself had been broke up I did pay $60 for this pin. Uh, she was having a sale that night, so I thought that was a really good price for such a low LE. And this pin is gorgeous. It has glitter embellishments in her hairband, in her dress. Um, it's just an absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning pin. The next pin I'll show you is actually the pin I got for free. <laughs> um, the way it worked was I believe I said queen or no or something i don't remember what it was it wasn't queen i said something first oh, i can't remember what it was anyhow they play games and one of the games was i said something first so i got the answer correct so i got to pick a box and inside that box was this cute little valentine's day february 14th 2005 limited edition pin um limited edition of 3000 i'm gonna take it off its backer card it is a tinkerbell pin on pin Disneyland pin or Disney World pin, excuse me. So there on the back, you can see it does say limited edition of 3000. If I can get it to focus. I, like I said, I normally don't do dated pins, but since it was free, I don't care. <laughs> so really cute little Tinkerbell pin. Uh, a lot of good detail on that one. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on its card here. And uh, yeah, this is from 2005. So it was at retail then $10.50. <laughs> pin prices have changed. The next pin I'll show you is another Tinkerbell pin. This was um, dated uh, as well, but I think this was a really, really cheap pin. And that's why I went ahead and bought it. Uh, it's an Easter pin of Tinkerbell 2007. It says limited edition on it. So let me go ahead and take it off the card here and see what the limited edition number is. Oh yeah, a limited edition of 300. So that's an old pin there, 2007. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but it says limited edition of 300. So, and it's a Imagineering exclusive. So it's a WDI pin. That's why I bought this one. This one was not cheap, excuse me. I think the next one I'm gonna show you was cheap. This one was not cheap. This one was a little bit more expensive, but it wasn't a bad price. Otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. Um, but yeah, this was a WDI and I was really excited when I actually got that one. The way the live sales work is they, We'll show pin and show a pin and show a pin. They kind of pile them all up. And the first person to say sold Tinkerbell is the person who gets it. So this isn't like an, I mean, sometimes they do auctions, but it isn't like, oh, here, let me give you an offer. Or can I give you this for it's the price and the first person to say sold gets it. The next pin I picked up was um, a Disneyland Resort Paris pin. It's still in its original packaging. So I'm not going to take it out. Um, it was eight dollars, $8, or I guess it should be eight dollars. It's eight fifty euro, and uh, I think it was like fifteen dollars. I didn't think that was too bad. It's a pin on pin, and it is Cinderella. And uh, at first I thought that was like a Halloween pin because the pumpkins, but then I'm like, hello, pumpkin carriage, Ian. Who? A lot of these, a lot of these sales take place really late at night, <laughs> so I was kind of tired. I think most of them go on until almost midnight. Um, but being in Ohio and then being in California, it's not that late for them. So that was another Cinderella pin I picked up. You'll kind of see a theme here. <laughs> um, the next pin was, I, I believe this one was $10. Um, it's just a, a lovely little Cinderella pin. Um, very nice, pretty little pin. Not limited edition or anything like that. Um, I think this actually might be like an Acme pin or a Hot Art pin. Um, nope, nope, nope. It's a Disney pin and... <laughs> Boy, I really need to pay attention. 
limited edition of 500. So another low LE pin, but I know I did not pay very much for that one. I, I really do think this one was like 10 or 15, maximum of 20 bucks. Um, Cause I know I was like, I was watching my dollar signs add up, add up, add up. And uh, yeah, this is just a really neat little pin and I just lost the other backer. I don't know where it went. Um, so we'll get that here in a second. The next two pins that I got from her, um, I saw the one and was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. And then um, she ended up making a deal if I bought both of them. So I did buy both. Um, I don't remember where these are from. They are limited edition of 100 each. I got number four and number 37. Um, the first, I'll show you the first one. The first one that caught my eye is the, it's a doll stand and it is Snow White Rags dress. And this one is 37 of 100. I don't know if you can see that there or not. But this one, I was like, oh my gosh, I saw this one first, I'm like, I have to have it, because it's Snow White. I love it. The second one is number four of 100, and it's another doll stand dress. And there's a little bit of glitter embellishment on both, the blue patch on um, the Snow White dress, and then the sash on this one does have glitter. But I just thought these pins were gorgeous. Um, if someone can remind me what these are, I would be greatly appreciative. All I know is that I'm very, very glad I got them. These were not cheap. I think I paid 70 bucks for both. Um, it was, it was. I think they were 40 bucks each, or if you got both of them, they were 35. So, or no, they were 35 each, but then I got them both for 60. That's what it was. Um, but I had to have them. They were gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. This next pin is just a cute little pin. Um, it's an old Disney pin trader from 2002. Uh, it was 10 bucks. And I just thought, oh, I'll round up my my lot and grab it. There's a glitter embellishment, Snow White and Cinderella. Just a cute little $10 pin that I was like, sure, throw it in there, why not? Um, and I do like it. The detail on it's really nice. The glitter's really pretty. And it's just a cute little pin for $10. The last pin that I got from um, Addicted to Disney Pins is a pin that I was like, oh, somebody else showed this. It was either Disney Kitty or um, Ryan from Pins Blog, one of those guys. And I was like, okay, I've got to have one of those. I paid far more than retail for this one. It is limited edition. Um, it is sold out. I do not remember the edition size on this because it is still in its original packaging and I've not removed it from that. I paid $45. Retail on this was $16.95, but it's Berlioz from Aristocats and I had to have it. <laughs> so this is from the Disney uh, store, Disney, wow, if I could talk. Disney Studio Store Hollywood, and I love this pin. It's the Big Head Kitties, and again, this one is Berlioz. Now, um, like I said, with that free Tinkerbell one, I got a couple of goodies. See, the fun thing about this one, it's Brianna, or Brianna, however you say it. She always sends candy, too, so my kids love it when I get packages from her in the mail. But I also got um, these really cute little uh, Disney store uh, from, yeah, definitely Tokyo. Band-Aids of Lilo and Stitch, and then um, Nightmare Before Christmas little embellishments. So again, just fun little stuff to get in the mail along with some really awesome pins. Okay, I promise. This is the last set of pins that I got. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll show you the uh, business card first so you can kind of maybe go out there and follow this person on Instagram. It is Disney, or Young Queen Disney Pins. And uh, there is her Instagram right here. You can kind of see there. Um, she does do a lot of really fun stuff, so definitely, definitely go out and follow her. And I'm gonna dive right in because there's a lot of pins here. So the first pin I got from her was $20. Um, it's a 2006 Epcot Flower and Garden Festival, a pass holder exclusive pin. The back card has some damage, um, so that was kind of crummy, but it is what it is. It's a really um, very detailed uh, pin on pin design. So I'll go ahead and show that to you now. It is Cinderella and the Prince. It wants to move a lot. Let's see if I can push that back on a little tighter. There we go. So you can see there, there's like the pumpkin, of course, because it's Cinderella and then the flowers and then uh, the Prince and Cinderella dancing. So that was a really fun little pass holder exclusive from 2006 Epcot. This next pin, um, I think I got it for 10 bucks or something like that. I don't even know where this pin is from. I think Tokyo, maybe? Um, but again, beautiful aerial pin, little flounder there. I love uh, the screen printing on it, it's just really pretty. The next pin I got was a $5 pin. It's an old waffle back pin. 
and I had to have it. It is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And I got this for five dollar dollar. So that was a good deal. It's because she does the way that um, this person does. Again, that's young Queen Disney pins. She does uh, boards and you can just say, okay, sold H, sold G, sold four, sold one. And each board has the amount of that what that pin's gonna be costing. So that was on a $5 board. Good, good deal there. This next one is another old waffle back pin. I don't remember how much this one was. Uh, I think I just got it to throw into my badge because it was so, so cheap. But it just is a Cinderella in the castle and it says Cinderella 1950. The next pin was really cute. This is another old waffle back pin. Um, it is an exclusive, but there's a sticker over the thing. So let me see if I can get that sticker off real quick. Okay, Disneyland Resort exclusive. 2002 waffle back pin. You can see there. And you can probably tell by the shape who it is. But this is a cute little Tinkerbell pin with a glitter embellishment on her wings. And she is sitting there, like it's the scene from when she fell in the drawer at Wendy Darling's house. So that's a really cute pin, I thought. The next pin is an LE 1500. Um, I'm gonna get this one off the back card because it's not a Disney back card, it's the seller's back card. But um, it says LE 1500, but I don't, sh there it is, okay. Yeah, it's official pin, pin trading 2005 Stitches Action Adventure. And then it says limited edition of 1500. And you can see there why I had to get it. It has my two, well, one of, and then my other favorite character. So it's Stitch and Ariel with Flounder. So I just thought that was a really cool pin. Uh, Ariel is holding on to Sebastian. And then it says Stitches Action Adventure, Disney's MGM Studio. So this is a very old pin. It's still longer. I don't think MGM is still around. Um, but yeah, had to have that pin. Really, really, really cool. Um, I don't remember how much this one was. I don't think it was very expensive, but it was an LA 1500. So again, great pin, great price. So that was fun. The next three pins were just little fun uh, $10 pins. Um, they look, yeah, they're old waffle backs. Um, so the first one is Stitch. I love Stitch when he does this little thing at the end of the movie. He pretends to be Batman, puts on the bikini top. Cute, cute, cute. Uh, the next one uh, is a Disney catalog pin. And it's Tinkerbell. Beautiful little pin there. And then the next one is a another Disney catalog pin, and it's the Blue Fairy. So I just thought that was a beautiful pin. Some of these um, might make their way to my mother. So mom, if you're watching, don't watch. Because <laughs> I know my mom would love the Blue Fairy one. So that might make its way to her. This next one is another limited edition pin. Um, let me get it off the back card here because I don't remember the LE number on it. This is limited edition of 1000. So this was a Disney Parks pin. Um, it was normally, I think like 16 something. I paid 25, which, okay, 10 bucks more for an old pin. Not bad, not a bad deal at all. Um, but you'll see why I had to buy it here in a second. I think there's a little something, something on there. Ta-da, it's Ariel and Ursula when she steals Ariel's voice. So yes, I had to have this pin. So, so cool, pin on pin design absolutely love this pin i was so thrilled that i got it you have to be so quick on some of these um just be like sold this sold that sold this otherwise you will miss it and then the last pin that i got out of this shopping haul um was just a really cute pin it's from disneyland paris uh it is figaro and he's a big head kitty and i got him for 18 bucks and i just was he was just too cute to leave there so that is the final pin of this insane pin haul. Um, I don't even want to count how many pins are here because I probably will get sick. So yeah, let's not go there. But anyhow, guys, that is my pin haul. I had fun. I hope you did too. I hope you enjoyed uh, some of the pins I got. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you have some of these? Do you want some of these? Um, have you been able to get some of your grail pins? Uh, and such like that, because I, I want to know what you guys think. So um, if this is your thing, this is what we do, guys. It's all Disney, whether it be pin opening, pin hauls, Disney doll reviews, Disney item reviews, uh, Disney shopping hauls, 
park visits, you name it. Um, that's what we do here. So if that is your thing, like I said, hit like, hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Uh, we do try to post a video at least once a week. Some weeks are better than others where I can get more videos in. This past week uh, just didn't happen, but I had planned on it. Um, things came up, life gets in the way. So I'm happy that I can sit down and do a video with you guys today. This next coming week, maybe I'll be able to get a little bit more. I'm starting to bring out some stuff because I got tagged in a really cool video series that's coming up here. So you guys will see that. I'll probably get to work on that today and tomorrow. The video maybe will be up sometime midweek this week. Um, and that is going to be a fun one, guys. I promise. It's really cool. So, yeah, again, I appreciate the the, the watch, guys. It has been fun. I uh, Yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. And again, leave some comments. I love interacting with you guys. So anyhow, guys, have a magical day, and we'll see you real soon. Take care.